This is the Katronic Game Controller for BBC Microbit. The Game Controller is a retro gaming accessory for the BBC Microbit. It is a programmable gamepad which enables a better gaming experience on the Microbit itself or enables the ability to control other devices over the Microbit radio. The Game Controller is similar in design to the Game Zip 64, only without the Zip LED display. This offers great value if the Microbit's own LED matrix is sufficient for the game or for controlling other devices such as robots and buggies. It is also much lighter on power consumption than its older sibling. The controller features onboard sound through a piezo buzzer, has four programmable direction buttons on this side and another two action buttons on this side. There's also haptic feedback provided through a vibration motor. The board is powered using two AA batteries which are inserted here. and there is a power switch on the top. The BBC Microbit slots into the edge connector and the center of the game controller. Always make sure that the Microbit screen is facing the same direction as the buttons. We're going to show a quick demo now of a game being played on the BBC Microbit using the game controller. We've taken the game already created on the Microbit MakeCode website, Crashy Bird. We've modified it slightly to use the game controller code. The up and down buttons are now used to control the bird, the piezo buzzer is used to play backing music as we play. And the vibration motor is used for haptic feedback when you crash. There are also expansion points here and here on the game controller, which break out pins 19 and 20 from the micro bit. These can be used to attach I2C devices or, as we've done here, to attach extra shoulder buttons. You could also create a case to protect your game controller. We've colour coded ours with two radio linked move minis for a game of robot football. We're going to have a three round game now, so please enjoy as we head to the kickoff.